Hi friends, Miss Ella here from Learn to Grow. Today is a little gloomy, so I'm gonna make this video kind of quick because it's starting to sprinkle. Uh, we're gonna be doing a little bit of harvest, so we're gonna take a quick tour of the garden, see what's growing in our fall garden, and we'll see what we pick today. We'd like to know what's growing in your garden as well, what you're harvesting, so please um, feel free to leave a comment below, and I hope that you're enjoying your fall as well. So we're kind of working on some um, changes back here. We're going to be moving the chicken coop down here. We've moved some boxes already on the south side of the garden. But this is one of our potato uh, beds that we haven't harvested yet. These were planted later. I think it's in the middle of the summer. So, but I just pulled out one of the plant that was dying back. I want to show you how great this looks. It's a fingerling type potato, beautiful red color. Um, this one produced really well, so you can see uh, nice size ones. I think that one's about, this one looks like it's at least six inches long. So yeah, the rest of these plants, I'm going to just go ahead and leave them as is. Probably harvest them in about a couple of weeks. Nothing much left growing in this bed is where we had some of our butterball potatoes. Um, still have some scarlet runner beans climbing onto the trellis. And there are still some pods in there. But these are going to be the these are the more mature pods so i'm going to go ahead and let them go to seed i did sow some chicory whitloof seeds which is also known as the endive uh, plants so i think they're starting to sprout first time i'm growing them and i've read that they're actually good as a chicken feed as well so we'll see how they do there's some yeah tiny little seedlings there heading towards the back or the south side of the garden over on this bed here, we have some green beans, the bush beans growing. And these were planted mid-July. So, so we've got some beans that are ready to be harvested. So it looks like they yeah, produced some for us. This would be my second bean harvest this fall. I harvested some about a week ago. So yeah, looking good. And over in this bed are some leafy greens, some red romaine, romaine lettuce. Those are some mustard and maybe some bok choy. They're getting eaten away by some slugs though. And also planted a few radishes here and there. A lot of um, things overgrowing. So I'm gonna have to be cutting back some of these herb plants, lemon balm, oregano. Um, what else is there? Mint, it's just all <laughs> overgrown. That's okay though. Oh, this is the Thai basil that I planted or rooted from a sprig that was in my soup that I bought and ate. <laughs> but as you can see, look how beautiful this plant is. Yeah, and the leaves smell so good. Another box or garden box of leafy greens, lots of kale. Kale is a great fall and winter crop. They are very cold tolerant. They survive below freezing temperatures. So they're doing quite well. We'll be harvesting a lot of kale leaves today. These are some Mizuna. These are volunteers. I grew them earlier in spring and they went to seed. So another young kale plant here. I think I've got some collard greens right there. Different kinds of lettuce. I'm not sure what type this one is here. I don't remember. These are romaine. These are the Lola Rosa lettuce. Beautiful lettuce here. Very mild flavor. Perfect on salads. I got the seeds from seedsnow.com. That's the first time I'm growing them this year. What's great about growing red leaf lettuces is that the slugs don't like them. So they don't get devoured by the slugs at all like the green ones. Oh, here's the slug right there. I'm gonna remove that. But anyways, for some reason, I read that the slugs don't prefer the red leaf, so they look lush and healthy still. <laughs> I even sowed some carrot seeds. You can see all those tiny carrot seedlings. Yeah, they didn't do that well this summer at all. It got a little too warm, I think, so they actually started sprouting when the weather started cooling off. I've got a few spinach. I haven't had any good luck with spinach this year for some reason. Probably because of the hot weather we had early this summer and late spring. But it looks like they're doing much better than this summer. 
Now I know that squash plants are out of season, but I planted the seeds back in July in hopes that I get a little bit of harvest in the fall. This is more zucchini plants. There's a couple of baby zucchini there. I don't think they're going to survive though. It's getting colder and a couple of yellow squash. Yeah, they're not really gonna get that big at all. So it looks like we've got some more tomatoes to be harvested. They're still producing lots of green ones, a few red ones, and sun gold, which are the orange ones. They're all hidden under bushes there. As you can see, the tomato plants also has some powdery mildew. So it's about time to pull these plants out soon. This was the same rhubarb plant that I harvested from about six weeks ago, maybe two months now. But it reproduced again, so this is a second harvest. Usually up here in the Pacific Northwest, we get a harvest in early spring uh, or, or summer, and then later in the fall. So we'll be harvesting some rhubarb as well. All right, guys, here's our fall harvest. Got a whole bunch of green beans here, a lot more than I expected, which I'm happy about. Got some more cherry tomatoes, red cherry tomatoes, and some sun gold. Over in this box, we've got some leafy greens, some red leaf lettuces, Lola Rosa, romaine, a bunch of Russian kale leaves. I think it's the red Russian kale, beautiful foliage, the purple striped or veins. Some of the potatoes that we dug up earlier. And some rhubarb stalks from our mini orchard side of the garden. So I'll be making some rhubarb apple crisp from these stalks. So delicious. I love the tangy and sweet. So great harvest today, guys. I hope that you guys are also enjoying your fall garden and having a nice season. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and happy gardening. Mm -hmm.